Checking in. This is that trending. Another episode on currently trending live. We have a special guest in the building. Recording artist, a London himself. Normally. But not normally. Formally. Jano, bro. You know it go already. I mean, for me, it's a pleasure to be in your presence as a youth, talented. Definitely. And a growing of the music business. You see me? Um, my first question to you is this. You believe in yourself, right? Most definitely. And the reason why I'm asking that is because just tell the fans one word who describe your journey so far. Now your journey is not an easy one, right? One word will describe your journey. Determine. Determine. Never stop. Consistency. All right, cool. As an artist, what's your creative process like? Well, you don't know the starter kit <laughs> consists of good weed. Yeah. And you know, anybody when in the space at the appointed time, if you have a great energy. Facts. And yeah, just vibes. Energy is important. Very, very important. Cool. What type of music would you say you create? I mean, one of the things I realize when you say on stage, because I realize you always say this. Who no know me, get for know me. For the people in where I get for know a London, what kind of music would you say you create? Honestly, Personally speaking, I create all type of music. Versatility. Yeah, like I do everything. You have anything you specialize in or not really? Well, you know, where the people them semi specialize in, I feel like lyrics when it comes to like, you know, the dance outside of London. The dance outside? Yeah. So the lyrical form. Okay, form cool. that person would be so, really influence in the music. Well, growing up, you know, from a younger age, like, before me even reach 10, you know, B-Man was my favorite artist. And you know, say B-Man is your favorite artist. Jaja. Fiend, biggest rival is Bounty Killer. So automatically, you're going to be influenced by Bounty Killer too, because you have to hear it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, you have to listen to the music. And then when I reach like 12, 30, you know, I start listening to Vibes Cartel heavy. So. Early influence. Yeah. And you just list two creative, impactful artists in the business. So you know that go. Um, is it pressing to release songs based on you know how the music industry is there, you know? Well, honestly, me personally, me always try to give quality over quantity. You know? Meaning, yes, I have a lot of songs on release. Come record every day. I just told me I leave from right before we come so. Fox. But I just want to put out a bag of bagger thing and if we don't promote them right or market properly or, you know what I mean, fully produce these songs, like, I don't want to waste my time. Yeah, you proper, mm, do, it. do it good and done. Yeah, so you'll get quality from me over quantity. Very, very, very marketable. You think the promotion base in the music industry is kind of hard right now for, for artists? You know, you have so many ways to promote, like, is it hard for you to put out music and get it out there? Because the reason why I'm asking that is, to get to the funds, you have to have a strategy. Yes. Do you think it's hard? You know, for everybody, things may be different. Like, for me personally, I am not a social media person, which is a big no-no for the era we're in a right now. Facts. Like, you know, say everything really kind of break from a TikTok or a social media platform where it have to go viral. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yes, I try to adapt. And, and get more, into the, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, mean, I get my content things and I get my like after, you know what I mean? So, for some people, them that say it's hard, and then for some people, they say, no, it's very easy because no social media. So, yeah. Fox. All right, clearly you've been touring. Um, there's a lot of video when we see you put up on your IG performance. So, yes. to me, that's great pro promotion, by the way. And for me, what's that experience like? I'm, I'm curious. The tour, the experience, the different crowd. Well, for me, I don't know about for anybody else, but what I can say is like being on tour is like you get to see a different side of the music and you get to see different people and how them react and how them gravitate to the music in a different way, a different form. And then also being on tour just make me appreciate what I pray for, what I ask for, because I can remember times when I have to catch myself. I know more time you do it so long, you know. Consume the proper food and you know, sleep. Yeah. Too comfortable. And you have to say, no, I can't wait for God. And then you have to say, no. 
God, at this minute, pray for. Cramp and paralyze everything I just say. I pray to be here, so why am I complaining when things get rough? You know what I mean? Fox. Yeah. You didn't notice earlier in the first part of the interview, I asked you one word would describe your journey. Yeah. You said, we say. Determined. So that means say actually a speaking to your truth. No, everything connect back, man. Yes, yeah, me. So we just make you know, say. There's no sugar coat, there's no fabricate, everything is just, you know. We just show the audience. Like you know my friend, I mean? Prime Minister, that's as real as it gets. Facts. I mean, and I'm sure that it improved your performance. Definitely. You know what I mean? So this is for the audience. Rate your performance from one to ten, don't use seven. Honestly. I don't want someone like me to gas myself to the audience. Just rate the performance, the bro. No, for real, for real. But what I can say is I never have a dull performance from me know myself, ever. Which, which number you yeah, actually? I read the people in the comments who really know me or who ever seen me perform before. What do you think them would have said? What I think? He's a confident you to them. You know that. No, I'm a very confident dude. I See? know what I'm going to say. If you say rate my performance... Just rate it. I'm going to say from 1 to 10? Yes. I can't say 7? I'm going to tell you 10. All right. Leave it right there, sir. The people them know Alandan. Yes. People in the comment section, you can leave your review based on that comment. I am going to give you 10 based off of one specific thing that I have to commend you on. And that's the fact that you play with our bands. Okay. You see, for me, it's not just a performance anymore. It's an experience. It's true entertainment. So when you have the bands and you can actually play with our bands... And then rehearse with you, and then you can come on stage and dominate. Ten. Give thanks, appreciate it. So that are my feedback based on how I see you growing at the business. I'm gonna feel like that's very impactful and effective. Seriously, watch the style though, because performance they are ten in my book. Which arena or stage you ever like dream to perform on, and why? Oh, wow. You don't know, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I, I dreamt to perform in the Barker Centers and I performed the other day. Wow. Unexpectedly, not knowing it was going to happen, but it just happened out of nowhere, so give thanks to that. But one of my main thing is like, you know, a London first time in London, you know what I mean? One of them places where you see the... Major dance, I like them. I sell out. What a big theater, the name. I went there over Wembley. Like that. That's a... Yeah, man, them yeah. the apartheid. Yeah, man, you know what I mean? So we just want to live out that short term goal there. You the, know what I mean? the journey where you're going to bring you there because, like me say, your presentation is effective. I'm sure it's other people over the world who know real music know, say, that's the right way for the music. Yeah. That is it. Miss other artists. Now nah, bash the artist still because the artists are doing thing we play with CD and them lip sync and them whatever. People have to do what they have to do. But your performance, the fact that you know what I mean, you learn the music business, not just the music, to me is everything. You see me? Thanks. Next question. There's a lot of artists in the business right now, right? Touching the music scene. How do you make sure you stand out? And what is the impression that you want to leave with your fans? Well, how much was me stand out is like, you know, it's like just the normal everyday me, but just be myself. Because what I figured out, I figured out that like we have a unique sound and I have a unique way of our flow. And I listen around all the time and I hear things that come out from over the past years up to now. And I don't feel like nobody really sound like a London. People might try to fabricate and mimic it, but they can never be the master. You know what I mean? So I feel like I definitely sound like myself. So that's how I don't, even if I do my tap in off a vibe or a new song or a familiar way, but I nah, run in, I nah, tap in Facts. and mix it with mine and fuse it, you know what I mean? So it always have the authentic part where you don't know, say, a London. You see, me, so I feel like because I sound like myself, or that, that, that differentiate me. Because stand out. And what's um, the impression you want to leave with your fans? Well, my impression is I always want to be the artist where them feel comfortable with Tricky and just, you know what I mean? He's never a conversation with, like, you know what I mean? I don't want to be a standoffish artist. Like, me not try to intimidate you. Know? I don't want nobody to feel like they're afraid of me. I don't like that, you know what I mean? I am the artist who love. Someone just wants to show back my love the same way. Fucks. So, into the future, five, ten years from now, what do you hope to achieve from the music industry? Well, I don't know what me hope to achieve, you know. It's just, like, me I can tell you, say, 
yes, I want to see myself at the highest peak or I want to make sure I accomplish this over here or that over that. But me personally, I just know say in the next 10 years, I London, I go to the same thing I'm going to do right now. Good music, good energy, positive vibes, see I'm going to feed my fans and with music. It's it going to be better. Better structure, better, you know what I mean? Everything, everything great, because greatness can't work without greatness. But nothing not going to change. The only thing I change, maybe financially. You know what I mean? But Morning up. Because I already live my dream right now. Fucks. You see me? All right. So, I mean, obviously the, the music has changed, right? As a musician, what do you feel about the Chopper songs? And do you think they have the ability to cross over? Me not going to doubt nobody's ability. Or tell us say what can break or what can not break. Because times have changed and, you know, People want to hear new things and new sounds, so you can't knock the youth them for the way them are doing. What I think is the people that want to cost the youth them for just spend more time and try to direct them. You know, the part where them don't leave out the rootical things and try to keep a, you know, don't leave out the original thing of the thing. You see me? But the formula. I don't beg to what the youth them are doing. You think it have the ability to cross over? Anything of the ability to cross over once a music and people like it and have a vibe. So you might never know. Do you, I cannot decide that. Do you believe the, in making those type of music though? Do I believe you in making... You do do I you, believe in yeah. making those type of music? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to use the word believe. You see me? Yeah, you never know. You can get up tomorrow and London and make a chopper song because might be another vibes there. I might... There are some people who might like that are into that type of thing and might just get an energy from it and make it. You never know a music. That's a vibe. Fucks. All right. So, this is for my viewers. Some song recommendations. Zane, we have some great songs from Alanda and Wimbledon. So, and the viewers, them know about. You have Antisocial, which is one of my favorite. Yes. Um, Bad song. Zane, and we have Touch the Road, another one of my favorite. Yes. Zane, and there's a viral song that went viral since this year, Titus. The girls, them love that. Definitely. Zane, so that's my. Song recommendation. Then also you have Brady. Yes. Which at, went at viral song, again. At the song of the road. Which went viral again. So these are my songs recommendations. Zane, but you also focus on the single right now. Grabber. Yeah. Tell us how that song come about and why you choose to remake the song. Honestly, anytime I land and do a remix. Yeah. I'm not going to do a remix if I know so I'm not going to murder it. I'm going to murder it. Meaning like say, even when the Originator for the original song here, them officer no, that little boy a murderer song. So you hear many songs and people be like, London, why not remix this? Why not remix that? Or sometimes selective. It, it just not come to me where the vibe. You know yeah. what I mean? But me know say so once me go for approach it, me go murder it. So I'm been a play around with it. Not gonna lie to you, like from a year the actual song, me really like the vibe of the song. You see me and. Oh, it really, really first start. I went up on the edge water. Me and Siva sit down and jumps them out up on the front porch. And me and tell the man and say, "I'm gonna remix a song there, you know, cause I kinda like it and sang around the whole place." And the only thing me that do I play around with, we know about I tell Spliff dog, mix grabber with the weed, not the whistler. That was the first two like up. Fuck. And fast forward to one day when I'm um, Philadelphia they have a football match. They man no play for them MLS. Mm. And we'll go link the G and drive in and go watch the match and. Me and Booga and Skema are ready to drive home back from the game because I spent like two days over there. And on the way from Philly to Hartford, that like a four and a half hour drive there, that's how that's how they come up. You see, everything the, is the, like the, a vibe. We play up on YouTube and we just the car and we have vibe a song. I say, here, me just match with a girl on Tinder. Cause I just, well, while we drive, we ready to match with a girl on Tinder. You know what I mean? I say, yo, damn, just match with a girl on Tinder. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's a whole vibe. I'm going to respect that too because for you be as creative, for you use your life experience and make it into not just a song, but a song where people can relate to, catch a vibe to, and actually go viral. Yeah, man, I murder, man. Impactful. So my recommendation, people, check out the song there right now with Out. I'm single. Grab a freestyle, a land, and just type it in on YouTube. It'll come right up. Let's do some networking and business growth. Right now, bookings. Yeah, All over, right? Yeah, and that's Link Kimmy PR. If anybody just check my bio on Instagram, Link Kimmy PR. That is it. And then we also have an EP that's coming out soon. 
Yeah, very from, soon. I don't have a date as yet, but very soon. From LMR. Yes. That's a producer um out of New York base, correct? Right? Yeah. Jamaican born New York base. See the um any collabs on that EPR? Yeah. Yes, I have some collabs on it, but I don't want to break them names. You don't have to do that. Music yes, video and them thing there comes. Yes, because I have right. like two videos shot already from the project. You know what I mean? Working and shooting more because it's going to be a seven song EP. All right, you're doing a lot of work. I know I always promise people in my project, but this time around. You it have a is project. coming. No, I, I have them. Even one of them I've been a promise, you know, like them, they make and still put them, but I just, a time for go back to them one day and make sure so, you know, everything's on fresh and still have a feel like no one, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Think, but I have a project ready for you now. That sounds good. How do you feel about record labels? Um, the only time I feel a way about record labels when time I get stuck in a play, weird place where one time I feel like I might sometimes I need a machine. And when I say machine, I mean like marketing machine. The machine behind the music. That's what a label is like. A machine to pump your music in a different places and different areas to get the thing marketed a proper way. You know what I mean? But you know. All the thing I work nowadays is you have to create your own buzz. You have to have everything going on for yourself before a label will come to you. Label don't even want to sign no artists no more to their labels. They don't want to give them a deal. A deal where like, you know, we have to do some album with you or we do some pub or something. You know what I mean? A single deal, an album deal. It ain't no... Really, it's your artist sign a full, full... Proper deal, yeah. Label. yeah. To me, me call it, well, I mean, we are currently trending. We call it catch and kill, depending on how hot you are as an artist. Facts. Because, you know what I mean, sometimes I feel like them catch you when them say it's a hot artist and then them bench you. No, it's no more artist development, you know. So you have to it's develop just... <laughs> already and already have a buzz and things going for yourself before them decide that I'm going to spend the money with you. So me, I'm just working on myself and if, you never know, it depends upon how I feel or it depends upon how far I may reach or my, you know what I mean? You never know. I might feel like I don't need a label or I might feel like I need a label. So, but there's growth in your career and I feel like you're up on a piece right now when I feel like it's only up from here. Definitely. All of the viral songs them, all of the, the, the production, all of the bookings and I say all the like Mr. the tour from early out, and I feel like that's a big thing. As an artist, you have to experience different type of audience in order for no fee. Work the audience and go in a in nice studio and make songs we can go anywhere. Mm-hmm. It can't just be basic. You understand what I say? So me feel like that's a great move so far. Watch your style. Eh? Pull a story. Yeah. Give us a time when Alandan was either frustrated or downtime and the music put you back upon a positive vibes. Honestly, fam, can be real honest with you? Just be honest. What if at times? It's that happens so much time, it makes it so hard to pinpoint a specific time to tell you, like, say, yo, that day that made it feel like, because there's many times, like, I might get frustrated and we have to call a person, like, call Jesse Ryle and be like, yo, bro, right, I'm feeling stuck, man, now what for do? Musical, what brother. What the next move I can make, or, like, what you feel like I need, or, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I can tell many times. See, a lot of people don't really realize that uh, this artist thing is not just making hit songs, performing for fans. The artist them go through times when it feel like Jano. So we we'll spend most of the time at work for something for 15 seconds or 15 minutes. Cha cha. For example, you see and bolt train for about what 15 years? We go run for less than a minute. Couple of seconds. You see me I say? To be the fastest man in the world. So that much I can show you. We spend most times creating, working on the next move, the next look, next image, everything just to make sure it's safe. You see me? And you're not complete. Like from last night, me already know me away from over here. Church like man. them type of way there. You know what I mean? I'm realizing you're not complaining. You're up on the journey and you're doing it. You might complain. We have a part of the program called Keep It 100. Keep That's, 1000. This is where we at right now. Zane, we have some tough questions. But this is where the fans are going to get excited. A lot of artists run from the party. But yeah. let's do it. There's a viral moment in Bridgeport. Yeah. You were performing. Yeah. And you made a speech on stage. Yeah. 
call over a girl. Yeah. And you say to the next girl, you like that girl, yeah? Yeah. Jean, she say yes. And you say, take her number. Yeah. No few might think say that's a prank. No, watch her style, yeah? Is that a prank? Or is that the lifestyle of a London? Keep it 100. Honestly speaking, that never planned, that never staged. That does something natural. Like, it was so natural. It was so natural that because when the girl actually get me attention, I think she, she touched my leg or something, I'm feeling somebody grab my foot. I'm look for her, you know, we as a man. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty woman whose skin catch a fire. <laughs> you see me? So, me know how me stay, me did I go out with myself. Yeah. Never know. Probably take out all her breasts or something. I don't know what I do. I can't tell you because when I perform, I never know my conscious self. My house is in different rooms. You see what I say? Facts. So it's like, I never, never like me to be aware of it either. But I just know I say, I get conscious <laughs> when I remember say, it's me and my woman got the club. It's not me alone. And I know say, when she never does not react no way or you know how your woman stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She know me did embarrassment and I got a load night out of the road. I agree with you in the house though. Anything it costs, anything. Call me name, anything. You might get away. But a road? No. Yeah, set me up a failure, no. Mm-hmm. You see me? Reputation on the line. I'm going to say, yeah, set me up a failure. You know, all about things like one that I'm not even talk. Mm-hmm. So she know and me know, say, at the time, she wouldn't react if me do something different. But she might remember, say, yeah, me and I got a club. I don't want to hear the bag of zzzz like the moment I go to bed. The nigga nigga in my ears, oh, you know me in the club and look where you're going, because like, I know I'm a stay. I'm a Libra. I naturally flirt, all I don't even know. You see me, I say? So, I <laughs> know me that go on. Jaja. But just remember, say, I remember a woman got the club, and I say, oh shit. You know, I can't take forget that girl I'm out tonight in the house. So, you know, watch this. Babes, come here. And I saw my call her. And me, I already know, say, she got said the girl pretty from before she even reached up because the girl actually pretty. Mm-hmm. You see me? And me Some know, girl can't take that in her. But I know my woman stays a lot pretty woman. Yeah. You see me? Once a girl pretty, she always compliment them anyway. So Naturally. So me know, so if it was a if it was a girl and a two pretty, I just okay and you know, decent girl, but she just alright. Mm-hmm. Moon call her like a Russian can't tell you because I see it on her face and she'll lie. Yeah, so yeah. So I won't yeah, even yeah. do that to her. I said her so myself like feel like either. So me, I said, alright then. Me know so before she reach, she got said the girl that pretty. So if you notice, I'm here dictate the whole thing, like how Simon say. When she promised a bill, you like that girl? Huh? She said, yeah. Hear me, hear me now. You think she's pretty? She said, yeah. You like her? She said, yeah. If you notice, me just move the talk of her from fear and just done. All right, then, we like her. Take her number. She's not going to ever say nothing else. Because right now, she can't say, no, I'm not that. You know what she may say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what plan? Just yes, natural. Plan. Natural. All right. Like, I am more a person in person, you know, my fam. Facts. You turn the camera on and say, yo, all right, we might don't do nothing. Yeah, your vibes. You work off of vibes and energy. Me? Naturally. But if it's natural when time, thing I record unexpectedly, we don't even know sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I get the truth of me. Fucks. All right. So, the moment they go viral, a lot of people say a lot of things. Watch your style, you know. Keep it 100. How many girls you ever have in rotation? Right. <laughs> like, man, I thought, you never said how much girl never sleep before. Yeah, how much girl like, never have in rotation. That's not the answer to already. I don't even remember. I lose count a long time. But, how much girl ever have in rotation one time? Honestly, all right. How how the Premier League work? How <laughs> much team in the top what? At the top 10? Yeah, leave me with this girl. Does that work? Something like that. I you know everything is a new girl, one team get relegated. <laughs> I saw it I was going to say me. I don't think I can tell you say how much girl I ever have in a rotation one time. Because I don't keep track or keep account from being honest. You see me? But what I can tell you, I always have a cycle of girls, whether I'm in a relationship or not. So if I'm in a relationship, that cycle of girl that might depend on pause. And I'm wait for see if it like a last or if it like a broke up and then if it broke up the cycle might turn on back. Yeah. And sometimes based on who me I did or the type of relationship, the cycle might still going. And we just go and see if it's like a working relationship on the side there. Yeah. You see me? Me personally, my brother, I can't tell you. No man, you just keep it one hundred. 
Yeah, I, I keep it 100. Yo, oh, maybe I have five girls in a rotation one time or maybe I have six. No, I just know I always have a cycle of girls. And every time I get a new girl, yeah, one get relegated. And then sometimes you have a couple girls who get relegated or fight to get back into the division one. And then you have so many girls that we know say, them a top baller, them never ever drop out. Them are always not the top five, you know them style, eh? I swear to you, my father. That is it. And you just keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred. Watch your style. Keep it a hundred. Zane? Yeah, girl is our one burner. I mean, I know she has a rotation. Have you ever went into the... You know what I mean? You're going to one burner style right now. I rate that girl. Or you feel like, you know what? I'm a girl. Is. Never a one burner. Honestly, what you mean? Even for me, do it different. Yeah. Because my girl, them always like girls. Yeah. So even if me is a one burner and a one girl, me a feature for that time, yeah. Mm-hmm. She ain't give me a woman, so. Come like nothing. It, it not come like a one burner. Like we have different, different, different cold stove, different, different rim fire, different, different brick, uh, make different, different fire everywhere. Isn't that what This is the artist's life? No, this is my life. This is your life. Yeah. Do you feel like you come with... the artist's life. So if you weren't an artist, I feel like you'd all live the same life, correct? I honestly, it not have to do with nothing with artists or anything. Right. From your band as a magnet to woman, yeah. you're going to be a magnet to woman. You always can. Woman just drawn to you. Naturally. Naturally, it's me. Woman say, I wasn't always an artist all of my life. Fox. And who know me for real? I who go primary school with me, I who go high school with mm. me, I who go any type of farm, like with me, before me to an artist can tell. So, I learned that I always like this. All right, then. But I'm calm down now, still ladies. I'm not as bad as I used to be. Uh, I mean, what's your style yeah? Have my face and my faces. I'll be a gallus question me ask you so far. You know, what just turn around? <laughs> what you again? Keep it a hundred. You ever take a girl from our man? She have our money. You take her from him. Well, just keep it one hundred. Just say yes. More than that, me tell girl. What if I tell them man? Yeah, keep it a hundred. Me, even though I have a relationship, my girl will ask me say, "Baby, trust me." We tell her to an extent. She say, "Why?" We tell her because the things them way woman do. For me, I always know that it can happen to me. Yeah, naturally. Naturally, is me. Anything we do, it can happen to you. So, maybe that I might fear why anytime I'm in a relationship, like, I got trust issues. So, <laughs> and it's not like I get my heart broke or anything. Cause, you know, I get my heart broke them from early days. So, I don't feel that nobody can broke my heart now. I can get disappointed. Mm. You see me? Because. I feel like I already expect what I expect. So if somebody already expects something, I'm going to brace themselves. Brace for impact. I always brace for impact. I always tell women, before I even know that, I tell them what I'm going to do. Before I'm going to do. Is that because of the experience we have? The things that I'm going to go through and the things that I'm going to do. Exactly. And the things that I'm going to do. brother, like, like you say, if I tell a girl from my man, I do worse than that. I tell a girl, what if I tell them, man? Yeah. Like, yeah, keep it 100. Tell your boyfriend, say, yeah. And then listen. Yeah, I do more than that. You know what I mean? Let's go. I'm mute. an official. <laughs> Let's go. Official <laughs> side man. Let's go music. An official husband too. Let's let's go music and and and, and this 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 comparison is a little controversial. But what a Taliban or drift? Which one do you think of more longevity? Honestly, because drift, drift is more like a mood. I can hear that dancing vibe. So yeah. Taliban now. My man dog is a gangster song. First thing first. It's also a vibe too, like more of an up tempo vibe. And I just feel like you just want that. It's it, it like, you don't want to shoot somebody and laugh. Tell a pussy we don't laugh. We don't take that. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I feel like Taliban have more longevity than drift. But just so everybody know, I think they're two great songs. No, very much, guys. You know what I mean? So it's not a. Comparison to Must bring an artist down, Must you know what I'm saying? Drift, yeah. It's not a comparison to bring artists down, so disclaimer is just, you know what I mean? We just want a different perspective on how another artist would have looked on it, you understand? Know From no, an but entertainment TJ perspective. TJ my artist. Naturally. Maria, TJ is an artist. Yeah. I'm afraid. I'll if, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. might not know me or not like that, but me, Ray, TJ is an artist. If he's a real person, I ain't a fake the funk. TJ talented. Fox. 
Excuse me. All right, what's your next music question now? In the business right now, if you had an international collab, which international artist you feel like you would collab with? Keep it 100. Anyone? Just pick no, anyone? man, may I, may I tell you them, man. Okay. So you have two choices. You have Drake yeah. and you have Wiz Kid. Oh, Wiz Kid right away. Wiz Kid right away? Right away. Why? Afro... Afro beats, bro. Afro market is huge, bro. Like literally, like la- I was just at the Afro party last night. Yeah. Like, you know, it was a vibe. Yeah, and I met um DJ Spinner. You know what I mean? If I didn't probably not even know who the hell is that, but like, and my probably got like two million or one point two million followers on the gram and stuff like that. Like Afro market, big, bro. Like so, any day right now. And the reason why we use kid. it like that is a lot of people using two international artists from the US, but they kind of want to mix it. One from the Afro and one from the, you know what I mean? No. So it give a good look, a comparison, and it makes more get sense. It right now. Okay. All right. My last keep it 100 question. Pretty natural. Keep it 100. Shensia or Jada Kingdom, which one of these females would you do a collab with? Right now? From the genre, yeah. Both of them still in, but if I pick one, I'll pick Jada. Wow. Why? Why? I just like how Jada, right? And. I just love her. Jada naturally. Yeah. A London. I still love Shan. I still love Shansi. You know what I mean? Shansi are pretty. Everybody love her. Any man that want her. She make fire music to as well as she bad. But to me personally, I mean, no matter Shansi are Libra like me. Mm. You see me? But we love Twinkle Dog. You know, like that. All right. So Jada Kingdom win when it comes to, you know, a collab. This so. I right, watch your style now. This is Alandan. And the viewers, this is not a basic artist, people. We just want to check out the music. Zane, stream, like, and share, most importantly. But, bro, for the audience, freestyle? In time they're ready. Give them something for, you know what I mean? Catch a meds too. This is Alandan right now on stage. This is currently trending live. This is that's trending. Alandan, take them away. I'm going to say normally, but not normal, formally, but not formal. I'm going to say, everybody has a rich now. All who watch pan me and run risk now. As man start fly, them a pitch now. No for them attack, say them a got this now. Wow, wow. Me a tell you, say them can't stop me. Give them a jump start with a car battery. Doctor say me sick, me need a autopsy. Cool, man. And normally, but not normal. That is all done. People, like, share, and subscribe. You know already. This is that trending. You know, we are currently trending live. Give them all your social media angles. You know, you can follow me at Alandan Music for Instagram. Name is spelled A-L-A-N-D-O-N. Music, regular spelling. Again, A-L-A-N-D-O-N. One word, music, regular spelling. Instagram, Snapchat, same thing, Alandan Music. Facebook, Alandan. Twitter, Alandan Music, you know what I mean? Yeah. For the fans, they may I do a cheat code. Give them a freestyle like Grabber and close the show. That's trending, grabba, 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 grabba. Trending no bun, I tell spliff dog. Mix grabba with the weed, na the whizla. Link sizzla, fi the weed, me see him draw. Grabba kicking na me in your head like a ninja. Water run out of me, yeah, I must sprinkle. Weed alone, me a smoke, me no drinker. Spliff full of grabba tea, full of ginger. Trending match with a girl pan tinder. Did you? Yeah, what? man. You can do that? That is it. Trouble. <laughs> Rude. This is that trending out.